Today, I want to talk about another bug and see if you can see it. Welcome back, another week, another video. Thanks for being here. This video is inspired by a conversation that I had with Eric, who is an active member of this channel's community. And during the conversation, a lot of code was flying around. Some of it very interesting, some of it might show up in another future video. But in the conversation, we came across an interesting bug and I thought I'd share it with you just as a challenge. So let's take a look at the code. So here's the code we're looking at today. Eric, you may not recognize it at first, I've definitely made some modifications. Anyway, we were playing around with different ways to write different operations, and this all stemmed from a video that I made a long time ago about divergent thinking and the value of trying to find different ways to solve the same problem, rather than just being happy with the first solution you come up with. Link in the description, check it out if you missed it. And of course, I also recently made a video about not writing clever code, and some of you are probably saying at this point, doesn't that conflict with that advice? Doesn't these two pieces of advice, they conflict? And the answer is not really. That video was talking about production code. That's where you don't want to write clever code. And of course, when I say clever, I mean fancy, unnecessarily trying to show off. There's nothing wrong with being smart, being you know clever in terms of like doing what's right for your program. But anyway, hopefully you get the picture. But in this video and the video about divergent thinking, I'm talking about exercises, things that you give yourself to get you thinking in new ways, to train your brain to solve problems creatively. I'm not actually recommending that you use this code to find the lengths of strings, but come on, play along, it's fun. So anyway, this is a candidate, a tricky way to find the length of a string, something that you might try out if you are spending some time doing some divergent thinking. Feel free to drop other ways to do it down below in the comments. But the point for today is that this one is actually broken. And today I thought I would just throw it up here and see if you can see the bug. Now, don't go look at the comments yet. Some of you will see it quickly. Others will take a bit more time based on experience, no rush. Once you see it, I'm sure people will start dropping explanation down in the comments. That's great. Helps the video reach more people. But please don't just look at other people's work. Spend some time on this if you don't see it. I mean, it's a three line function. It's not going to take too long, but try to break it down and try to see if you can see what the problem is. And of course, while you're at it, let me just help a little bit by writing another function here. We'll do some testing. I call this test it and we'll pass in a string. And just for, just to make things easier to see, we'll print out test, and then let's put quotes and the string we want in there, and a new line and print out our string. Now I will see what's going on. And then let's, let's first do the, we'll first run the libc version of string length, and we'll print out an integer. And here we'll do the string length of string. Actually, string is gonna return a long unsigned. So we'll do that. And then we'll do my version. Let's actually put tabs here so things will line up nicely and have our arrow and we'll have another LU here. And this will be my function. Okay, so in this case, I'm just gonna use the libc version str len I'm gonna use that as my ground truth, as what I'm actually looking for. And then I'll compare it with mine and then we'll print a new line down here at the end, just to make things a little easier to read so we can separate our tests. And that should work just fine. And then we'll come down here and let's just add a few tests, A, B, C, and happy coding. Where can I get that shirt? and my name. So we're just throwing a couple of different strings at our test function and just to see what happens. And if we come down here, we can compile it. Notice that I do have a make file. It's a very simple make file, nothing fancy right here. Uh, if that does seem fancy, if that's new, please check out my make videos. But once we've compiled it, if we come down here and we go ahead and run it, well, at this point, everything seems okay. Everything matches, hmm. But trust me, it's broken, and I'm not gonna tell you how it's broken right now. I want you to play with it, and we'll talk about it in the next video. So chew on it, figure out what's wrong with the code, and I'll see you next week. Happy coding.